Today we're talking about the OC Lilmon 5 and why I think it could be the best budget monitor of 2023. Now, in case you missed it, OC recently launched the Lilmon 5, which is their brand new five inch touchscreen monitor. And I'll be honest, I was really excited to get my hands on this monitor. And so I did reach out to OC to see if I could review this monitor. And so that being said, I was sent the monitor from OC, but as always, I'm not getting paid and I get to say whatever I want. And so you are gonna get my full and honest opinion. Talking about specs, like I said before, this is a five inch touchscreen monitor. It does have have a thousand nit brightness. The monitor does have a plastic housing and it does come with a plethora of ports. Over on the left hand side, there is a battery out, run stop, as well as a headphone jack. Over on the right, there's a quarter 20 mounting point as well as a power button. On the bottom, there's another quarter 20 mounting point as well as an SD card slot for loading LUTs and firmware updates. And then on the back, there is an HDMI in and an HDMI out, as well as a place for an NPF battery, as well as a DC power option. Now, before I move on, I do wanna mention, if you do plan on loading LUTs to this monitor, you are going to need a SD card that's no larger than 32 gigabytes, and it does need to be formatted to FAT32. Now, with some of the basic specs out of the way, I do wanna talk about four reasons why I think this is the best budget monitor of 2023, starting first with how this monitor renders colors. Not getting overly technical, I've been really impressed with how this monitor renders colors. I found that it is as true as possible as far as colors are concerned with what my sensor is taking in and ultimately capturing. And so having really good color rendition with the Lilmon 5 is one of the first reasons why I think this is the best budget monitor of 2023. And honestly, that could be the only reason why I think this is the best budget monitor of 2023, but let's talk about some more. One is going to be the overall tools and user experience of the Lomon 5. Now I combine these because the tools that are available aren't groundbreaking. There are plenty of monitors at this price point that offer the tools that this monitor offers. But one thing that I love about this monitor is the overall user experience in it using those tools as well as the menus. OC implemented their Swift OS operating system, which is redundant, I realize, but Swift OS is what drives the Lilmon 5. You do have a menu option over on the left-hand side to do system menus, and then over on the right, you do have a plus button, which will help you add tools. When you tap on any one of those tools, that turns them on and off, and to the left of the tools, there's a little arrow icon. Once you tap that arrow icon, that will now give you the option to navigate the menu for that specific tool. You do also have some smart gestures, things like over on the left-hand side, if you swipe up and down, you can adjust the brightness. Over on the right, if you swipe up and down, you can adjust the volume. In the middle bottom section, you can actually adjust folders, which we'll talk about here in just a second by swiping left and right. And then you do have a pinch to zoom if you do want to use focus magnification. And so with those smart gestures, as well as the general navigation of your menus and tools, SwiftOS is something that's really easy to use and is just very user-friendly in my opinion. But the thing I do want to talk about is over on the bottom right-hand corner, you also have a place for folders. This is such a fantastic feature and one of the things I think sets this monitor apart from others. With the Sigma FP, there are some tools that I don't need to use because the Sigma FP already has EL zone, it has a great focus magnification, and so I don't need to use those options. But if I'm using the S52X or even the Fuji for that matter, I may need to use false color, focus magnification, focus peaking. There's other tools that I may use for the S52X or the Fuji X-T3 that I don't need to use for the Sigma FP. And so being able to categorize those tools so I just don't have a bunch of clutter on my toolbar is fantastic. And one of the biggest reasons beyond color rendition why I love this monitor and would absolutely say this is the best budget monitor of 2023, but there is still one more reason and that is price. This monitor is $190. And the fact you get all these things for $190 is hands down one of the biggest reasons I would say that this is the best budget monitor of 2023. And so if you are somebody that is looking for an amazing budget monitor, then I would absolutely check out and recommend the Lilmon 5 from OC. And so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're 
digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. If you do have any more questions about the Le Mans 5, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Ah!